Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute farm doc daily dealing with cash requirements of own farmland 2005 versus 2025. One of the items that we have noticed is that farms that own more of their farmland have significantly better financial resilience today than those that have that cash rent more of their farmland. We're going to illustrate why this is the case with a 2005 purchase and then see if we what that purchase would look like in 2025. In 2005, we're taking a Central Illinois high productivity farmland case, and we're going to develop the cash flows for owning farmland versus renting farmland. In 2005, farmland cost $5,000 per acre in Central Illinois. That's for good and excellent quality farmland, according to the Illinois Society of Professional Farm Managers and Rural Appraisers. A 20-year loan at a 7% interest rate with 20% down would result in a $378 per acre loan payment per year. Property taxes were $27 per acre in that year. The farmer return was $47 and the cash rent was $147. Again, we looked at how cash flows for that purchase would look given that that farm got the average results for all farms in central Illinois, high productivity land for those enrolled in FBFM. As you can see here, this slide shows those cash flows. We have a large cash flow in 2005. That large negative cash flow represents the down payment plus the, the loan payment. You can see that most years were negative throughout the loan period, and that was because we of that $378 per acre loan payment. Those loan payments ended in 2024, and, the, and then we would own that farmland, $16,000 worth, uh, without any debt obligation. So this is what those cash flows would look like for owning farmland. If we rented farmland, many of those cash flows would have been positive. And particularly, we saw positive periods from 2007 to 2013, again in 2020, 21, and 2022. There were only four years of negative returns, 2014 and 2015, and then again in 2023 and 2024. If you compare the net present value of the two streams, owning versus renting, they're actually pretty close to one another. And in fact, the owned farmland is higher when you consider the fact that you now own um, $16,000 acre land, which is what it is uh, uh, moved to from 5,000 in 2005. The net present value would be roughly the same for both of those. Moving forward, the cash flows are going to look very different. The own land no longer has that debt requirement, so we're going to have positive cash flows unless catastrophe happens, but we'll still have those years of negative cash flows for renting farmland, and those are occurring right now currently and could be con continuing into the future. If we made that same purchase again in 2025, we would now not be purchasing $5,000 land, but $16,000 land, a 220% increase. That would increase our down payment, our debt servicing by 220% as well. And our property tax have went up almost uh, 196%. So all of those, uh, those the cash flows have increased substantially. So what those large increases, particularly when you compare those to the land returns, makes that purchase much more difficult today than it was back in 2005. Moreover, if you're looking at today, renting farmland has uh, come into uh, more of a question, particularly as it relates to paying for farmland. Many farmers in the past have used rented land to uh, develop the returns to buy farmland. 
Those negative returns today, 2023, 20, 24, 25, and 26, cause that to be uh, more, more questionable today than it was in the past. In any case, owning and renting farmland today look different than they will do in 2005. You can read more about this in the Farm Doc Daily. Link to the video description below.